wood turning is both craft and art. The craft aspects are the um, are the technical parts of doing the turning, which includes a lot of effort in figuring out how to sharpen the chisels exactly, how to mount the wood between the headstock and the tailstock of the lathe, and um, what speed the lathe should be at, etc. The art comes from the shaping. The original shapes actually came from an experience which I had way back in the 60s when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Abuja, Nigeria. I was there primarily as a high school teacher, but Abuja was the home of a pottery which was set up by a very well-known British potter by the name of Michael Cardew, who, along with Bernard Leach, were the two eminent potters from Britain. I spent many, many days volunteering as a not particularly good potter at the Abuja Pottery, but I can recall vividly the many discussions which I had with Michael Cardew and his successor Seamus O'Brien focusing on the design of pottery. Pottery is just the opposite from wood turning in that, in that to make a, a pot you begin with a blob of clay and you shape it to become a larger object, generally with thin walls. For wood turning, however, you begin with a big chunk of wood which is mounted between the centers of the lathe and with the chisels you remove much of the wood you form the shape from the outside. And in fact, for the hollow vessels, for the vases, they are totally hollow on the inside. For the technique that I use, I intentionally include bark. I intentionally include the split surfaces from the, uh, from the wood splitter. The wood which I use literally comes from the wood pile. And my kids actually frequently make fun of me because we do burn wood in the family room in the winter time. And, um, and the kids often comment that dad will evaluate and caress and feel each piece of wood prior to putting it into the wood stove to be making sure that it's not something for a lamp or a vase. I was delighted to have been invited by Richard Whitney and his wife Sandy Sherman, who are good friends of ours here in Stoddard, to be participating with them um, at their studio um, this coming Columbus Day weekend. Uh, they are very well-known artists in the, in the area and and I sort of feel they're they are a different league and higher caliber artist than I am, but I'm truly delighted to have been invited to be showing my things in their studio.